What is an absolute reference, you ask me? Well, it is a cell reference that remains the same when a formula is copied to a new location. No matter where that formula or the values in the original cell are moved, the formula will continue to refer to the same cell. Let me show you what I mean. I need to go ahead and figure out my commissions here. I've already written a formula in here. Simple multiplication, G4, the total here in G4, multiplied by B11, our commission rate. Now, of course, if I go ahead and grab my autofill and move on down, uh-oh, what happened? I got nothing. That's because, take a look here at our formula, it is now G5, which is fine, times B12. Well, there's nothing in B12. That's because the autofill is doing its job. It's carrying down all of those values. But that's not what we want. We want this formula to always refer to cell B11. So to do that, we're going to go back into our original cell, and we are going to add the absolute reference. We're going to add a dollar sign in front of the B. Now the dollar sign in front of the B will hold it to that column. Then we're going to go ahead and in between the B and the 11, right in front of the 11, before the 11, we'll add another dollar sign. And don't get confused. The dollar sign doesn't mean that's because we're dealing with money here. That has nothing to do with it. It's just a symbol for the absolute reference. The dollar sign in front of the B holds the column. The dollar sign in front of the 11 holds the row. Let's go ahead and recalculate that. And now, when I do my autofill, see that? No matter which one of these I go to, it changes here, the first part of my formula, but it always refers to this cell B11. That's my absolute reference. Now, let's go ahead, let's go back here, because I want to show you a real simple way to do this. Let me type this in. Rather than going in front of the B and in front of the 11 and adding those dollar signs, if you get your insertion point, your, your cursor there, right in between the B and the 11, keyboard shortcut time, on your keyboard here at the top, hit this key, F4. And that will automatically add in that absolute reference. And that's the Absolute Reference Gang. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.